Hello and welcome everyone to another plugin review. This time I'm going to talk about a VST synthesizer apparently made by Zimba. I didn't know they make VST plugins, but apparently they do. So this is a um, polyphonic synthesizer and it's called ABC. So the, the looks are a little bit old school to be honest. We have a lot of skeuomorphism on the interface. But let's just check out how it sounds. I'm putting it on a track right now. So we see we got a visualizer here that shows something about the sound. I'm not sure what exactly it, it shows. Is it, is it a gain meter or does it show MIDI input? I think it's MIDI input, but I don't know why they put it there, like what do I use it for, is it just for cosmetics, I don't know. And I also don't like that it plays a song immediately when you start it up, because you might instantiate it in the context of an already existing song and then you just obviously want to play your own stuff, or maybe they should put some of the stuff somewhere else and then add a whole dedicated part of the interface only for something for automatic chord generation in a given scale or something that can be selected. That would make a lot of sense. Now what do we have here as the main features? We have this different animal categories and when you click on one of them, like the cat, it plays a song and all of these actually play songs. When you have endured listening to some of the song, you can play the cat yourself. which is pretty cool, but I'm much more interested in the uh, more traditional sounding instruments like the violin. Now we can play that. So we can hear that the polyphony, I don't know if it actually exceeds at two voices, or if it's just a little bit buggy when you try to play more voices at the same time. But you could hear that there was some hiccups there. So it's definitely um, not the best synthesizer I ever saw. Also not very velocity sensitive. Now I want to show you something very special about this tool. Something that is missing in a lot of synthesizers, which is that you can record something in the synthesizer itself. <laughs> And you can play it back, which is totally the same rhythm as I played it. And the only missing feature here is that there should be some some symbol here that shows that I can drag and drop the MIDI into the project. But I don't see that anywhere here, so that's a little bit of a bummer because it might be that I want to use different sounds but with the melodies that I created in, in this synthesizer. So that is not possible yet, unfortunately. I want to show you one other peculiar thing about this. When you select the ukulele and then play a specific melody, then it will create a very interesting bug. So I was asking myself why it does that and you can find that out by recording the sequence and then playing it back, which I will do now. And now if you play it back. So we can hear that if you are just playing a lot of notes at the same time, even, even though they are strummed like ukulele sounds. It sort of has all these voices, all these voices in its memory in the background, and if you just exceed a certain number of these, then then this weird arpeggiator is happening with some notes that you didn't press at all, which is a very interesting malfunction, and it could yield really a fascinating sound design, I think. So to make a little conclusion about this, ABC by Zimba is a very interesting synthesizer. It might not be the most fully featured synthesizer that you have ever seen, but it is two voice polyphonic has multiple sounds like a real rompler, has its own song generation even though it misses some features like chord generation that would normally be, be in between playing notes and playing songs. But anyway, we even have an applause button. 
So if you don't have enough listeners uh, who listen to your music and applaud you for it, then you can just give yourself your own applause, which I think is pretty neat.